Hello everybody, today I want to show you how you can create streaming data pipelines using DevGram for your annotation projects. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a two-pass data pipeline where one task is going to be uploaded to a folder and DevGram will handle creating a new task for it. And once it's annotated and created uh, and the task is completed, then this file will be moved to a second folder and then we'll do like a second pass in this task. And once that's completed, we'll uh, take it into the final folder. So let's see how we can do it uh, with different right now. So the first step is to go to the uh, project menu and then we can click new tasks here. So we can create a task template here. And the first thing we'll need to do is uh, write the name. So I'm going to name it to pass uh, streaming pipeline and I'm going to leave all the defaults as it is here I can select the labels I want to have available so I want to have all of them uh, I can select the members here so I want to leave it as it is and I'm going to hit create so here is where we can create our data pipeline so uh, as we uh, as I already told you I wanted to build a two-step pipeline so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build the first step now. So I'm, I'm going to create a new data set called uh, pending uh, data. So this is going to be the initial data set where everything is going to be uploaded. And I'm going to create it here. And now you can see this pending data is pointing to my first task template. So, and now when the, when the tasks are completed in this first pass, I'm going to copy the files to a new directory. So I'm going to create the uh, the new directory that's going to be called first pass completed. And I'm going to hit create. And now you'll see that once any task is completed, it's going to be moved to the second uh, folder, which is the first pass completed folder. So I'm going to click next and launch. And now we have the first pass, right? So the the second step is going to be creating the second, uh, the second pass of this pipeline. So I'm going to do the same thing, create a new task. And I'm going to say, this is the two step pipeline, uh, streaming pipeline. Um, and this is second pass. So I'm going to create this. And now my input directory is going to be the, the output from the first pass. So it's going to be this directory that I created called first pass completed. So this is going to be the input for this second pass. And now when this is completed, I'm going to copy it to a new directory. So this is going to be a uh, final, final completed data set. So I'm going to create this data set and you'll see that now we can see the first pass, it's going to stream it to this, to this task. And then this task, once it's completed, it's going to stream it to the final complete data set. So I'm just going to click next and launch this one too. And now I can see uh, if I click here on the project pipelines, I can see this pipeline I created right now. So you'll see we have the pending data, then it goes to the second pass streaming task. Uh, then it, we copy it to the first pass completed once annotators complete this step. And then once uh, the second step is completed here, it's moved to the final complete data set. So this is how easily you can create uh, data sets and data streaming pipeline with Diffgram. I hope this video was useful and I hope you have a great day.